is the Irish passport still worth it in 2024? In today's video, I'll be going over whether the Irish passport is still a good passport to get if you are looking to get citizenship diversification, gain access to Europe, get a European passport, and also taking a look at what changes have been made to the Irish passport. Have there been any new policies, any new visa-free programs introduced with the Republic of Ireland to see if it's still a good option? Is it a better option, the same option, or a worse option in 2024? Starting off with the visa-free requirements, that is how much access you have traveling across the international sector if you are traveling on an Irish passport. Now in this regard, the Irish passport has actually changed, but it's changed in a good way because you've actually gained visa-free access to one major country that you didn't really have last year that would be the people's republic of china which is a major country it's actually a good country to have visa free access travel to especially if you're traveling across the world maybe you want to travel to china specifically or maybe you might be in china on business or maybe on a layover or something like that if you're traveling on an irish passport even if you're there on a layover there's going to be a lot less stress for you going hey look okay i'm flying to new zealand but i've got a layover in china okay do i need a visa for that layover in china you know what's the deal if you're traveling on an irish passport you have nothing to worry about. This is actually a similar principle to a lot of EU passports. Ireland isn't the only passport that has been recently granted visa-free access to China this year. A lot of EU passports have also been granted access. For example, Hungary is another country that also has visa-free access to China now. So you are seeing EU passports get stronger than they were last year with these one countries added, two countries added. But China is certainly a major country to be added to the list and in this way the Irish passport is only stronger. Now obviously ever since about 2016 for the past eight years I would say that Irish citizenship demand has certainly grown over the years. Even I who's been making videos on this channel for only a year now I'm starting to get emails about people asking how can I get Irish citizenship and things like that. So Irish citizenship is certainly very popular internationally and with this rising demand you would often expect a country to maybe increase the amount of bureaucracy, increase the amount of requirements so that fewer people can get Irish citizenship. Well, as far as I'm aware, that is not the case with the Republic of Ireland. Let's say that you're getting Irish citizenship through descent. The major requirements are exactly the same. If you have a parent or a grandparent who was born on the island of Ireland, it doesn't matter whether they were born on the Republic southern side or the northern side, then you could get Irish citizenship through citizenship by descent. You know, if you were born on the island of Ireland before 2005, then the Just Sali law would probably still apply to you. So Ireland hasn't been in the news recently for making any major changes on, oh, we're going to make it harder to get citizenship for people who have Irish lineage. That's not the case. And the residence requirements are still a good five years, a very standard year range for EU citizenship. For citizenship in general, we obviously have some anomalies, some outliers, a country like Argentina with two years, a country like San Marino with 30 years, that's just crazy. But Ireland keeps it clean. They have a nice five-year residency requirement. And now moving on to dual citizenship. The reason why I talk about this is that I have been getting some emails recently talking about people where they're asking me, look, I want to get this EU passport. I want to get this citizenship around the entire world. But what if down the line they don't allow dual nationality? Should I still get the passport? And to me, that's a bit of a nothing thing to be afraid of. It's very rare that that would ever happen where a country that allows dual nationality, you know, would suddenly go, hey, my populous my citizens you can't have any other passports that is actually extremely rare i don't know if that, that has definitely happened before but it's pretty much unheard of so you don't have to worry about this with ireland in my opinion obviously i don't think ireland's going to start restricting dual nationality anytime soon so in my case in my opinion i wouldn't worry about that and obviously the benefits are all the same so if you want a passport that grants you free movement to the european union to the uk that has a working holiday agreement with the united states with countries like australia new zealand countries like that countries all over the world then the irish passport is certainly a very good option all in all has the irish passport changed much since last year no, although if you are someone who thinks that having visa-free access to China is monumental, then in that case, the passport has only gotten better for you. The passport certainly hasn't gotten worse. In my predictions, it's going to get better over time anyway. So the Irish passport is certainly a very good passport, in my opinion. Let me know what you think about the Irish passport. And if you like this video, you can click right here and subscribe to get information on YouTube. And if you want to follow me on my other social media, you can follow me on Instagram, X and Rumble. That will be down below in the description.